Hello fellows, I'm Costa. I'm here to introduce you to my new app. It's an app for smartphone and it's used for, for, for controlling my Raspberry Pi. I will show you how it works. First I'm gonna install it. It doesn't take really long because it's a small app. And the first um, the first activity which appears is this one. Uh, when I press the lock screen, uh, I have to unlock it. Uh, I unlock it with these push buttons. Um, if I type, for example, uh, 5556, uh, uh, the number appears down here but it says that it's not correct. Uh, I have set the standard um, password as 1234 and it opens. Here I have an, a, a fragment view with uh, many apps. Let's try some of them. The first one is at LED. It controls the, the eight LEDs here. Um, I can turn them on, but since they are on, I will turn on only the first one and turn off all the rest. As you can see, they all turn off, but the first one. If I turn off the first one too, it turns off. The problem is that it's connected to the buzzer and it makes some noise, but uh, it's not really relevant right now. And I will turn them on, for example, the first four, and now all of them. Let's go to the second one. Here is the LCD interface. I can write hello and world. It change it can recognize um, the lower and upper cases. As you can see it updates as I wrote. Um, I haven't edited the spaces but uh, they will appear as a plus. If I say, for example, my name is Costa, it appears, but the spaces are with a plus. It's really easy to change. And let's try the last one. It's a temperature sensor. All it does is to um, measure the temperature of the room with this sensor here and it updates when pressing update. For example, it, right now it says that it's 29.8 degrees. If I press it, uh, obviously the, the temperature will change and if I update again, it goes. Right now it goes down basically because my body is uh, colder but it can go up, uh, for example, uh, give me your hand. Um, yeah, that one. So let's update it. It goes to 30, 31 and whatever. And later it will go back. There are some more uh, applications which I haven't truly really, uh, programmed yet, like the buzzer, uh, which is the one that makes uh, the noise. Um, the UART interface to connect to, to other devices and the I2C bus. And this is all about it. I hope you have liked it.